guys. Today we're going to be talking about and installing uh, springs on the Tenere 700. Uh, but first I wanted to mention some of the options that you have. You have spacers, springs, and uh, cartridges. Uh, this spacers is going to be the lowest budget, um, but shipped to the United States uh, looked like it was roughly about $50, and springs were 100 and then with cartridges being over a thousand dollars uh with the type of writing that me and my dad do uh we felt that that wasn't really necessary so we decided to go with the springs which is uh, a little bit more than the spacers but uh let's go ahead and get to the video all right what's going on guys today we got some uh front springs for the Tenere 700 uh stoltec uh we recently installed a rally raid rear spring and uh, was looking to even out the suspension so we got some Stoltec heavier springs and we're looking to uh, install those today and uh, we're going to kind of copy off of uh, everything Tenere it's a YouTube channel the guy makes a, a lot of cool videos on the Tenere but um, uh, how he did it he actually didn't remove the front forks we uh, uh, saw that he just uh, took off these plates and lifted up the Tenere and did it this way. He was installing the spacers, but we figured for uh, the spacers were about 50 bucks and the springs weren't much more. We figured this would be uh, something fun to try and hopefully we can uh, get the springs out without having too much issues uh, and not pulling the forks. Uh, but first off, we got the uh, handlebars tied up out of the way, a little microfiber to protect the uh, speedometer. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we got a hold of uh, Nick at Stoltec, and uh, he was extremely helpful in helping us figure out the correct springs to go with. He factored in uh, our riding style. Uh, uh, my dad's weight and what he rides with uh, when we came up with the uh, 70 kilogram uh, given the fact that we ride mostly or all on road so like we said we ride mostly on road we got these uh, Conti trail attack threes on here and they they grip really good So we lowered it some on the jack to pop these up. If you got the washer, the washer would go right underneath this in between the spring and this. Pan or the, I think it's the pin. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it would have dropped. Okay, I got the fork. Here's the old spring and the new spring. Just like a tighter, looks like just a tighter coil. Uh, this would be the heavier weight. No, it's, it's a bigger diameter, it looks like from here. Yeah. The coil looks tighter though. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Here's a new one. We're going to compress it quite a bit. So with the, the heavier spring that we just installed uh, to get the cap back on, uh, it's a little bit more difficult. So to make it easier, we compress the spring using these two cable ties, one on each side, uh, to give us more room to thread on the top cap here. And then now we'll go ahead and do that on the other side once we get this tightened up. 
when you're going to tighten this down since the uh, new springs a uh, little bit of a tighter coil it's kind of harder to get onto the nut compared to the OEM see how it's a little bit more open uh, so if you have like an older older 17 wrench you can uh, grind it down a little bit make it easier or if you have uh, a fancy adjustable like this uh, it's got a little bit thinner jaws, jaws I guess <laughs> but that that works really well too so we got the caps tight and we're gonna tighten down the pinch bolts and then the pinch bolts are 17 foot-pounds in the manual uh, it says to tighten the front two first and the little dimple goes towards the front since you probably can't see it in the camera here but tighten the first the front two and then the back two to uh, 21 foot-pounds All right, we're uh, back in the garage and uh, just wanted to give a quick update on how we're liking the springs. Uh, I've had them on there for a couple weeks now, so uh, we're really digging them. Uh, they completely level out the bike. Uh, the front is so soft from the factory, especially when you get the stif stiffer spring in the back, it feels really weird. Um, but when you put these uh, springs in the front, it, it really did help uh, even out the bike and it doesn't want to nosedive as much. Um, uh, another thing I noted was uh, the headlights. So before, with it nose diving so much, even or even sitting on it, it would adjust the the headlights would move. So we had to bring the headlights up. Now that the front forks are stiffer, uh, they don't squat as much. So we have to bring the headlights back down. Um, so that was something that you might have to do uh, after this install. But uh, overall, we're really happy with them. And I uh, wanted to dive into Nick's website and show you kind of some of the options and uh, how to go about getting in contact with them. So let's dive in. Jumping on to StoltecMoto.com, you can first want to select your bike. And then once you have the Tenere selected, you do the 20 plus Yamaha Tenere 700 drop in fork springs. Click on that, and then here you can see that there's a uh, drop-down box for different options of fork spring rates, uh, ranging from 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 kilograms per millimeter. And uh, scroll down to contact us, and that'll give you the number for Nick, and uh, he can assist you in uh, finding the proper spring rate uh, for your riding style. But this is my review of the uh, front suspension mod for the Yamaha Tenere and uh, these Stoltec Moto Springs. Uh, really happy with them, uh, but I uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.